friends welcome to my youtube channel Zamre new i design so today we are going to learn about home page how to design the ui of our home page and uh, this is the home page uh, you can see this is i have created the home page uh, this is category this is what is the feature you can show multiple add here you can show feature product here seasonal promotion this is the limited discount you can show four first four and the popular brand i have kept here six you can keep as you want okay so in uh, last video we saw uh, the authentication page uh, login registered for get password and otp so after the login page the home page will uh, open this page will open so let's see how to design this one okay so uh, first of all uh, uh, first of all we have to show the uh, logo and the some uh, uh, text that uh, uh, um, that will show what is uh, uh, that will attract the user for uh, the shopping so I have uh, create get a main grid okay after that I have uh, get a uh, grid inside the grid so you can see that this is the grid okay and in second row I have scroll view because I don't want this to be scrolled only another part you can see that uh, uh, logo part is fridge so uh, so in uh, first row I have the added grid so it will get freeze and in the second row I have added scroll view so it will scroll after the logo part so in the grid I have added image for logo and the label okay uh, I will upload this source code in blog so you can copy this source code okay and so uh, after that I have added scroll view to scroll the all the function all the page and, uh, and in the scroll view I have added grid so uh, in grid I have added row that uh, I need uh, as per uh, how many rows because if you don't add this row then it uh, it will get disturbed it will automatically uh, set as a star okay so uh, all design will not uh, uh, all design will uh, will not look good so uh, please uh, uh, set up the row definition or give a fixed height or auto or a, a star okay after uh, in the uh, grid i have added a search bar okay this is the search bar this is in will search bar or you can uh, uh, create your own search bar by using custom render okay after that i have added collection view to show all the category product so in this uh, category products are a template I have used here okay so uh, I have uh, created let's see the template this is card circle image template so for circle I have uh, uh, used border okay in many of the uh, videos I have created previously I have I am using uh, frame or a pancake view this also uh, set as a so we can we can use that control to set as a circle but you can also use a border to set it as a circle so in border you can add only one control so uh, in the border uh, i have set height stroke 
color means border color stroke thickness means border thickness stroke shape uh, round rectangle 100 means complete round and the uh, background color is white and the padding zero okay and i have added the uh, image i have bind the image uh, i have created property for it and pass all the data so all these are dynamics full on dynamics there is nothing static i have added image and bind the image property and set a width and height and this is aspect fill aspect fill means it will stretch all the image in the in the in, in the area okay it will show full image and the after the border i have added label to show the category name so i have bind with the title okay and this is the uh, uh, this is coming from uh, resource dictionary so in previous video uh, you can see how i have set the this the resource dictionary okay so in the property in the property i have a use image title and price and this is the data okay so it will get this data from here okay let's go back to the home.jaml after the collection view means after this category uh, i want to show this line so i have used box view okay so uh, remember one thing i am using dot net mouse so in dot net mouse uh, uh, to show the color of the line use a color property and in xamarin use background color okay so background color property is not working in dot net mouse the color is color property is working fine in dot net mouse okay so uh, in fourth uh, for control is the box view after that uh, this is the uh, special offer and uh, i have added a uh, image from the uh, from the web page or you can uh, set your name and uh, assign the uh, value from the backend code as uh, you want to use and after that show after that after that this line means this line is shown by using the box view okay after that uh, feature product i have used label to show the uh, label called feature product then after that this is the again collection view so this the collection view is showing the uh, product name of the product and this price okay so you can scroll here by using a collection view here also i have used the template let's see the template so i have used here a uh, stack layout okay because I want to show this border. Uh, sorry, I want to uh, want to uh, I want to have this space. Okay, if uh, if I am not using a stack layout, then all all this line will get merged. There will be no space, and it will not uh, look look good. So this uh, to to have this space between two. Uh, uh, two items item border you have to use padding okay so so this is a, a five pixel space between two item border okay and to show this border I have used frame and frame will have a, a 
with the 250 you can also use your uh, border but uh, uh, i think that frame will be uh, good for using here so i have used the uh, frame uh, this will not come and in the frame i have added a grid where it has a two uh, two column okay and the column spacing means it will show a space between this the two column this is first column this is second column so there is a space between two columns so this is the column spacing padding uh, padding is 10 okay either you can use your padding 20 or you can remove this or uh, you can use 10 10 uh, whatever you prefer and after that image uh, in the grid I have added image in the first column and set uh, scroll pan as a uh, row span as a 3 ok uh, sorry 2 it will come to here uh, uh, because uh, actually uh, I was also uh, uh, thought about showing the description but I removed the description uh, label but uh, I forgot to uh, set this row span is equal to 2 and uh, it will not change any design because there are only 2 row and here also 2 row so this will be the row span so it will take the full row uh, both the row to show the image and set height and width here after that add two label for the title and price by using the uh, uh, title will be shown on first row and price will be shown on the second row okay so this is the template i have created to show the feature product and the uh, property are same i have not used any other different property and uh, I am returning the same uh, product this okay you can uh, as per the requirement you can change the uh, you can create new method and add a new product okay but uh, you can see it is same both are same so I am using the same method just to show the UI okay you can create a new method and add a new uh, product so move to the next uh, is uh, seasonal uh, promotion so this is simple uh, i am showing this line by using a box view and this is the label and the image and ag again a box view so i am taking this uh, image from the web page okay and then after uh, a limited time discount this i have showing the images here you can show any product so uh, uh, this uh, this will show a product which have the discount okay and and this is the uh, template it is very simple So uh, this is image in grid, uh, uh, there is two row in the first row uh, image and the second row label, okay. There is nothing, um, this is very simple. Then, then uh, and the, uh, I have used same uh, product, product only but i have created a new method for it and add the image i have used same class because it will not get difficult for you to understand if i get if i create a multiple class then you will be very confused so i have created only one class for all the uh, uh, all the uh, uh, collection view okay and another is a popular brand 
uh, in any uh, any e shopping product you can see there are the popular brand section where you can see all the uh, popular brand so i am also uh, uh, listing this popular brand and this is also collection view to show these three per row i have used a span a three uh, for showing the two you can use a span two in the grid item layout okay and the in template i have used a uh, brand template a brand template there is only images there is nothing we can see only images and the padding 10 so it will show the some spaces okay so uh, you can also add a, it is only single image you, you can also add your image directly but uh, you best practice is used to create a template will be the best practice so uh, whenever whether it is only single label use a uh, create a template for it okay after that i have bind all the method in the back end side this is i have bind uh, to the collection view item shows the method i have shown you so uh, in this way you can create a, a nice uh, and uh, uh, nice and attractive ui the best part is to selection of the image so image should be a uh, uh, you are keeping the image you are showing the image and the in the ui must be attractive so it is not that take any image and the add to the to the section so it will not look good so take a proper image that will suit to your ui and use that image in the section okay so so this is the uh, uh, video of the home page ui in the another section we will see the uh, next part of it i am trying to create a e-commerce app uh, ui for the e-commerce app uh, so uh, please uh, uh, subscribe this uh, channel and uh, please uh, uh, hit on the like button if you like this video thank you